I have spent on you in one night? Uh, $3,000. $3,000? Yes. Okay, hold on. It's because we went to a club and he bought like a lot of bottles of champagne. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that one. Oh, uh, Wait, there's multiple? <laughs> Yeah, $3,000 has got to be a lot of money to spend on a date. So it seems like she had multiple attempts made to impress her. Now this next one might just be relatable for the single ones. Psych! Anyway, I, uh... I'm doing okay, but I wish I didn't have to go through this. <laughs> it's always my fault. But anyway, uh, I didn't know. Well, I guess I, I did know, but um, that I would have this really strong reaction physically, trauma reaction to finding out that my estranged husband has been having a new relationship. Now, I'm not saying that he shouldn't. Um, we've been separated for a year but we see each other a lot and we spend time as a family together a lot. And I had asked him many times, are you seeing somebody? And he said, no, no, no. I kept saying no. And um, then he'd take me to dinner and we'd have a nice chat. And I have a boyfriend that I've been seeing. Um, so it's not like I, I think he shouldn't. Don't get me wrong. This isn't about that. But what happened was because he didn't tell me, um, I felt safe around him still, like in the way that he still loved me. And I think the hard part is that because I've been with him for so long, since I was 18, for him to be in a relationship where he is in one and you, you can't figure it out in your mind. Wait, she already said that she had a new boyfriend, so then he should be able to start again too. Next, we have a guy keeping someone's priorities in order. You know, I get my nails done every two weeks, and I'm dying this week, and I'm like, damn, I really wish well, I had my nails done. That means you don't have your priorities in check. That means you don't need your nails done this week. That's that true. <laughs> that's true, but that's the thing. I always get my nails done. Well, that's that's okay. Her nail's not even done right now. So what the f*** is she talking about? If I don't got my bread right, you think I'm about to go get a haircut? If I can't afford to get my haircut, I'm going to go without. Can I date your friend? Um, no. She's literally a 10. You're a 3. Look what? at her. You're a 3. Look at him. Yeah, look at him and look at you. You're a 3. What do you mean? No. 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 Why are you ruining my chances right now? Like, you know that I've been doing something all summer? You can't make it. Oh my God. Help him. He's just cute. I can't date her. I can't date her. Uh, no, I will never talk to either of you. Oh, really? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. It might just seem like someone just really didn't want to be single by herself. Plus, they say that misery loves company. Now, for this next one, some will just say that she just knows way too much. Yeah, a few weeks. How long have you known each other? Ten weeks. Ten weeks. Huh. When did you make it official? I haven't, not... haven't had a discussion yet. So, is it open or are y'all just y'all just talking? I wouldn't say it's open. Realistically, he can do what he wants, but my attention's on him and not on anyone else. Okay, that's how I. How would you feel if he slept with another chick? I'd be bitter. But I wouldn't show it to him. Because he can do whatever, technically. You'd still continue along with him? Okay. Yeah. How would you feel if she slept with another guy? Nah, I'd be kind of pissed. Would you stick it out with her? Whoa! She's cheating on you, boy. <laughs> I wouldn't completely forget about it. No, I'd, I'd talk to her. Why do you feel like you could tolerate that? Not that I'm tolerate it. I mean, we're not, we're not official. Just another situationship, it appears. Plus, it's likely much easier for him to say yes to everything than to stand his ground. Next, we have someone who was a little bit unhappy as to someone talking to her. Don't approach me in a parking lot at night. Pull your window down. But why? For you? Who are you? 
Go away! Oh, my car needs a jump. My car's made out of bricks. There's no electricity running through it. Sorry, can't help. Leave me alone. Sorry, what did you just say to me? Why are you order a taxi? Because I need to go home. Why you want to go home? I think you come home with me. Well, because I'm I'm done here and I'm not gonna go home with you. What you mean I'm going home with you? I mean, I pay for the dinner. And normally you come home with me. So you mean if you pay for the dinner, then I should go home and sleep with you? How much you pay for the dinner? It's not about the dinner, but I pay like 2.6 million. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, not the best look on his part. Cause if someone doesn't want you, you're supposed to just move on. Speaking of move on, this next one might just be the signs to do so. Hey babe, I'm home. Hey. Your laundry's still in the dryer. I'm pretty hungry. Do you want to make dinner or cook something? Uh, you can just DoorDash something cause I already uh, went out with a couple friends. I actually got a bonus today at work because my boss has been saying I've been doing well, so he gave me like a nice little bonus. How much was it? It was a thousand bucks. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Why do you throw this away? Do you want to watch a movie tonight? I feel like we haven't really cuddled in a long time. Hmm. I'm not really feeling a movie. I'm probably just gonna shower and go to bed because I have to wake up early. Oh, all right. I love you so much. Will you just give me a little kiss? You haven't brushed your teeth yet. What does that matter? Because it's gross. I think that we seriously need to boycott face filters in 2024. It's not cute anymore. Honestly, I don't know why people or anyone or why I ever at any point in my life felt like I should look less human online. Yeah, you could say that those face filters aren't very good, but she is in fact wearing a ton of makeup, which is not very natural. Remember the night that she cheated on me. I knew it before it happened. I woke up in the middle of the night and I just, I felt my chest just like getting and I, I just knew something bad was happening. The next day I woke up, I didn't, I couldn't get a hold of her and I spent the whole day trying to figure out what was happening. And I got a photo message in my Instagram from one, someone that followed me of a picture of her with some other guy. And then I, I knew and I had the picture and I, I messaged her again and I said, Hey, I got this picture. Yeah. Now's a really good time to be honest with me. And she said, she said, I met, I met Cameron. And I was like, who the f is Cameron? And she's like, Cameron Dallas. It, it hurt like hell. But the next day, she deletes all our photos that we'd ever posted together on social media, just wiped the grid clean and posts one new photo of her and this guy. What? On day one? On day one. Oh, and my it was God. a, it was a, Getty Images paparazzi photo. You know what the worst part about the whole thing was? What? I got back with her. <laughs> he got dumb simply because she got some interest from a celebrity. So it seems like she didn't really care about her previous boyfriend and just wanted the famous guy. Next, we have a bro that many would consider to be blessed. Who cares about that guy? You think I'd ever actually like him? No offense, he works at a pizza shop. When I met my now wife, I was an unpaid intern at a recording studio. And to afford an apartment, I would have to Uber drive throughout the night. And mind you, before that apartment, I was living at my car. <laughs> so um, I am I guess I'm just grateful that when my wife met me, she saw a person and somebody she was attracted to and enjoyed the company of and not an unpaid intern. <laughs> Could I get 25 chicken sandwiches? What, you said 25? 25, yeah. That's crazy. Or it's not a common order? No. Do you want any sauces or anything? Maybe do Chick-fil-A sauce. How many do you want? I do 30. Uh -huh. That'll be 142. 142, perfect. How long will it take for the sandwiches? Like 20 minutes. Do you want to eat sandwiches and stuff, right? Whatever's easiest to hand out, because they're, they're for the homeless community. Okay. I would say individual bags, but then put it into like a big bag. A big bag, yeah. We can do that. So we add some quick cabinet yeah. for you guys, too. What kind of cookies? Chocolate chip, I think. Thank you. Some extra love. What time are you done with your shift? I get off for like four minutes. Okay, stick around because I have something for you. Sound good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I, I can't accept this. There you go. No, I can't. Yeah. We can give you a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Bro seemed to be rizzing up the cashier a little bit there. Plus, she was so kind and nice to him. Really hope you enjoy these ones today, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.